Let's dive into crinoids, aka feather stars and sea lilies. If you're new here, I'm all things marine. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you love the ocean as much as I do. And make sure you smash that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any of the weird ocean creatures that I talk about. Feather stars, or crinoids, are among some of the strangest and coolest sea creatures out there. One that many people do not know about. In fact, most people might think this is a type of coral. But they actually fall underneath the phylum Echinodermata, which also includes sea stars and sea urchins. Within the echinoderms, the crinoids are the most ancient and have changed very little over the several million years of fossil records. They are found as far back as 600 million years ago, making them older than the dinosaurs. They have five arms that split off one or more times, sometimes having as many as 200 arms, and each of those branch off, or each arm has several smaller appendages that line the arms on both sides, giving them the appearance of a feather, hence the name Feather Star. These animals use their arms to capture food that passes by, making these animals suspension feeders simply existing and feeding on whatever they can sweep with their arms. They have mucus on their tube feet, which are present on their arms, which prey can get stuck on and then get passed down to their mouth by cilia. The central part of their body, which houses all of their organs, is known as the calyx. Their arms are able to break very easily, however, just like sea stars, they can regenerate these arms very easily and very quickly. Some species can actually swim short distances with their arms, but others can just walk on their cirri, which look and function as legs for the creature. Some species place themselves in tight and hard to reach crevices with only their arms exposed, but some will place themselves on top of rocks or other structures, exposing their entire bodies. Sea lilies are different because they have a stalk which anchors them to the bottom, while feather stars sit atop their cirri. Sea lilies have a stalk while the feather stars do not. Feather stars are typically found within a coral reef environment, however there are deep water representatives as well. Sea lilies are a deeper water organism which live at depths greater than 100 meters deep often. They live in areas where very little or no light is expressed at all. They are not hermaphroditic, therefore these animals are either male or female, and the fertilization that takes place is external and in the water column. Crinoids are one of the oldest forms of life on the planet and are very mesmerizing to watch, especially feather stars swimming through the water like this one here.